east of Africa's Great Lakes region, bordering the Indian Ocean, is Tanzania. Here you'll find the highest point on the continent at the summit of Mount Kilimanjaro, and the lowest deep below the surface of Lake Tanganyika. In between these two extremes lie the vast plains of the Serengeti, where each January the thunderous hooves of nearly two million wildebeest begin their great circular migration. Another celebrated migration was the journey of coffee to this land by way of Ethiopia in the 16th century. By the end of the 19th century, it had become the largest export crop, and today the industry employs over a quarter of a million people. We partner with producers who grow coffee in three regions of Tanzania, Mbeya, north of Lake Malawi, Mbinga in the southwest, and on the slopes of the Great Kilimanjaro in the northeast. Known as the Scotland of Africa, Mbeya is graced with gentle slopes and lush river basins. Heather and bracken carpet the hillsides and waterfalls abound. It takes little effort to grow successful crops here. In fact, the maize, wheat, and beans grown in the region make it an integral part of the great breadbasket of Tanzania. It is the Arabica beans, however, grown under the ample shade of banana trees that define the area and entice discriminating palates with tastes of chocolate, caramel, and berries, deliciously accented with a floral citrus scent. Near Lake Malawi, in the southwest of Tanzania, is where you'll find Mbinga. Coffee thrives on the steep slopes of the surrounding mountains in fertile red volcanic soils. Precipitation is plentiful and the cool, wet climate ensures an abundant harvest. The harvest can be a challenging time, however, as the rains are known to flood the farm paths, turning necessary access routes into treacherous terrain. Nonetheless, every August, local farmers begin the meticulous work required to provide coffee lovers around the world with their special multi-layered flavors of berries, honey, and chocolate. The northern slopes of Mount Kilimanjaro produce some of the world's finest mild Arabica coffees. This mythic mountain towers above the African continent, and its growing regions are home to a perfect tropical wet and dry climate. The earth here is fertile, and you may see avocados, mangoes, bananas, and beans growing in nearby fields. But the crown jewel of Kilimanjaro are its sweet, mild Arabica beans, bursting with an extraordinary combination of milk chocolate and citrus flavors, enhanced by an aromatic punch of caramel and more chocolate. About 60% of the Arabica production from Tanzania is home processed or pulped, fermented and sun-dried by individual farmers or small groups of growers using hand-powered and locally crafted equipment. The rest of the country's Arabica production is processed at central pulping units, typically managed by groups of smallholders organized into cooperatives. Each of the cooperatives operates their own independent wet mill, where ripe cherries ferment for one to two days before being washed and air-dried. This method features a more consistent cupping profile and attracts a premium over beans that are home processed. As a result, we've undertaken both financial and technical support initiatives to encourage producers in their efforts to establish their own pulping units and manage them effectively. With 16 national parks and nearly 40% of the land protected for conservation, it's no surprise that sustainable actions and practices are a way of life in Tanzania. As the people are dedicated to preserving and supporting the land, we are committed to providing long-term sustainability for specialty coffee beginning at the farm level. We partner with local cooperatives to provide business training and education on the latest good agricultural practices and support investments in new equipment and facilities. Together, we are working to build thriving farming communities that can last for years to come. Tanzania is indeed the soul of Africa. It excites the mind and fills the senses. Our profiles from this land are sure to do the same. From the southern highlands, to Mbinga highlands, to the apex of Kilimanjaro, 
The extraordinary coffees we cultivate here are as lofty as the hillsides they come from. 